Tim. Oh. You're not gonna believe what I just seen. I'm so excited right now. And it's one of the reasons I bought the unit. Look, look, look. For some gold crest. No. Gold crest paper. Case number one. Ooh. What do you think's in this thing? Is this possum? Vola. Vola. I don't know. Interesting. Alright everybody, how we doing? Second Sense Auctions here, Robert Zabel, auctioneer extraordinaire, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We're here at unit number 34. I paid $120 for this unit. I probably overpaid, ladies and gentlemen. I just took a gamble. I took a chance. You'll see why in a minute, why I'm saying I took a gamble. In this business, sometimes you gotta roll the dice, okay? The good thing about this is not like at the casino, you always get something back in return. I know, what the hell was I thinking? You see that jewelry box in the back? That's the only reason why. And really, I already feel like you never know, take that chance and you're here. But by looking at everything else, even if there's jewelry in there, it's probably not the best stuff. But one piece of gold will pay back for the unit. Maybe there's something else in here. Let's take a look. Come on, Chachi Paparazzi. So right here we got a little cubby thing, shelf, not too bad, you know, it's not in the greatest shape, but maybe a few bucks, foil. So if I ever wear a knife, pan, plant stand, so we got these little storage containers here. There's a bunch of little bags that open up into little storage cubes. You need that shot. A little pan. Nothing in there. Uh oh. Turtle wax. Wax up the truck, Josh. Yeah. That's just a big piece of brass. Tape gun. You can always use a tape gun. Our line of work, we are always taping stuff. We ship all over the world. That's the best thing about us. You can bid on items, www.secondsense.com. Oh, look at this. Got a little uh, blessed girl. Shirt. We got a... Uh... Jenny! Jenny! I love you, Jenny! Sorry. It's my worst Forrest Gump impersonation ever did, but... Oh, look at this, Josh. It's kind of cool. Look at that. Almost like a pigeon or something, huh? Yeah. You think it's a pigeon? Or a dove, or what? I don't know. Oh, look. It's marked on the bottom right here. Hand-painted, Chachi. California. So, who knows a piece like this? It does have... It's the tiniest little chip there, but it's still a cool piece. Someone out there might like it. <laughs> Look at that, Salem Fresh Speakers. So this is a little uh, I cigarette giveaway. Yeah. So these probably are collectible. They probably have value. I have to look them up on eBay or something, but just because they're a cigarette brand, they used to give out speakers from Salem. Everyone jamming out to your Salem speakers. Like, oh, look at Josh. Yo, Cleveland Cavaliers! You just keep going and going. Yeah, these people love you. A little love pillow. Now, everyone likes this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a sled? Yeah. In Ohio up here, it gets snowy in the winter sometimes, and we go sledding. Down hills. So, some people never been sledding before. A gift for you, Chachi. Remember that birthday I forgot about? Here, here you go. You give that to your girlfriend. I'll be yours, baby. I always find owls. That's my spirit animal. So hopefully that means something good is going to come out of this unit. Got a little purse. Carnival Cruise Line. And... I love puppy. So yeah, it looks like a bunch of houses in there. Pots, pans. What the heck is this thing, Chachi? 
Oh, I guess this is... At first I thought like it was a knife or something, but it says... I guess you put like a duster or something yeah, on it, maybe? Look like a duster attachment. Kids or that, are misbehaving. Or that too. Or that too. Get the little switch. No, I'm joking. Oh, look at this. Christmas time's coming up. And this whole thing is full. I don't know. It's got a little. It got a turkey in there. We got Thanksgiving. Looks like we might have all the holidays. A little springtime butterfly. These are all solid wood. Oh. It's the Easter Bunny, Chachi. Valentine's Day. So it's all wood carved out. Whole holiday season set. Oh, Chachi. Take a look at that bad boy. It's called protection. Man, this thing is, feel that thing, man. It's solid, Josh. You can hit a home run with that ball. Looks like we got more household stuff. No rhyme, no reason. We got bowls. Looks like a comforter, Josh. Oh, no way. You know what that is? Pet steps, dude. I might have to take this home for my dog, Chester. I wonder if he can climb up on this. Because our bed's pretty high up. He's a big dog, though. He jumps up on the bed now and jumps down, but maybe this would be better for him. I don't know. Maybe that's why I had to buy the unit. Help out Chester. My puppy. My little buddy. My hairy little buddy. That's some vicious trashy. Ah! Don't worry, they're plastic trashy. They won't break. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. oh, look at that. Brand new light bulb. That's a little rock. a blender. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Why? Why would you put this in storage? You see this already. You got some particle board junk, garbage. So, probably not the best buy, ladies and gentlemen, so far. But we still got all the stuff to go through. Got the jeweler box. Keep watching. Let's see what else we can find. At the Barbie. It's a Shakespeare. That's a fishing company. What's in here? Tire shine. You need some tire shine? No. Throw it on your motorcycle or something, Scotty. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Poor, poor trap. Busted up front. Nose is busted off. Oh, wow. Oh, it's missing a leg. Poor kid. Oh my gosh, look, it's got the umbilical cord and everything, Josh. So some of these dolls can be actually worth some money. The problem is it's missing a leg. So it's going to be worth a little less. Oh, look at Bubba mug. I'm always losing my mugs, so I always try when I find brand new ones like this. Put the side. More brand new stuff here. Waste paper bags for the dog. Oh, Chachi! Guess what I found? <laughs> we found the leg. I knew you'd be excited, Chachi. Take home a little baby today. <laughs> Tell your mama, bring a little baby. She'd be like, what? I saw us alligators, magnets, Chachi. Oh, we got another baby in here. We got the box. Box. Oh my gosh. All clothes, jeans. So this actually does have value. It's people, you know, jeans aren't cheap. Jeans always sell. So we probably do a little lot there. Looks like more clothes, Chachi. Close. That's kind of spooky. 
How would you like to wake up next to this chachi? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Ram. So. Well. We're getting close. Holy smoke, what is this? It looks like I got a big old pillow in here. Two pillows, Chachi. This one's got a little design on it. Some kind of coat or jacket. <clears throat> so, not a lot of cash so far. You can't win them all. And remember, when you gamble, ladies and gentlemen, you never know, you can lose. You can win when you're gambling. But in this business, there's lots of times you can buy units and there's no gamble. You know you're going to make money. You know you're going to make money. Oh. oh, it's a welcome mat. Welcome to my storage unit, Chachi. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Good 4th of July. Happy Spring. Don't forget about enjoying your fall. Looks like we just got stuck. Oh! Who's that, Chachi? Elf. That's right. Man, it's so nice work at Chachi. He actually knows things. I got, I, you know, I go, Shane, who's this? Uh, Anteater. Uh, he probably wouldn't even say Anteater. Oh, I don't know. Elf! Everyone's favorite alien. Alien life form. Right there, Elf. And he's got the John Dare little onesie on. So now I'm actually excited because you know Elf right there is worth money. Oh look at the little Tigger doll. What else we got here? A little puppy doll, big eyes. Oh, oh happy Valentine's Day. Brand new peanuts, rip off the eight dollar piece. Right there, Chashi. You're set. Now you just need five more for all the other ladies. <laughs> and then who? Who? The other nail looks like hangers and clothes. So, well, it's time. Where should we start, Chachi? Top or bottom? Start at the top. Start at the top. Ready? One, two, three. What are we supposed to do again? Oh. That's okay. Open. One, two, three. Oh! I got to check right between all the ring things I found. Air ring. Oh, oh, right there. Did I find some? Nope. Just a quick piece of plastic. But I found earrings before, rings and stuff stuck between here. Oh, oh, right there. So we got a little earring. We got one piece of jewelry. That's something. Something, Chachi. Empty. Empty. So it only takes one piece of gold. Get all the money back, who knows? But it's a nice, nice jewelry box, really. And we always do well selling these jewelry boxes. All right, Josh, you got the sides. Oh. Unfortunately, jewelry box is empty. Can't win them all. You never know. But in this game, I'm still going to make money. I'll sell their stuff in here. There's, you know, right here, jewelry box. Hey. $50, $100, bucks, who knows at auction. They always sell good. Got some vintage elf toy. Got a little Snoopy brand new. Some other stuff in here. I'm not going to hit a home run, but wait till we see the other locker. I already found some awesome stuff in there. A vintage Apple IIe computer, which pays for everything I bought. They're worth between $500 to $1,000. <clears> That's just one item from that unit. Also, found some other crazy stuff. I can't wait to see what else we find. Chachi and I got to load this up. Keep watching. All right, this is the unit I paid $220 for. I didn't want to go that high. But all of a sudden, I didn't want to bid on the unit. And all of a sudden, I seen a piece, a line out, a little switch. I saw a bunch of vintage electronics, things wrapped. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take a chance. I can tell no one's been in there, and it's been in storage for a long time. And when you have those kind of units, you never know what you're going to find. And it did pay off, ladies and gentlemen. I found an Apple IIe computer. Check out the past video. Unbelievable. I found this crazy kit for a race car. So I'm hoping maybe we'll find a race car inside here. Who knows what else we're going to find. I mean, I'm excited. We found some good tools. Ooh. Man, might have to get paparazzi open this one. It's up. Oh. 
Right. And you're like, what the heck were you thinking, man? Sometimes you gotta take a gamble, <laughs> take a chance. But there's tons of vintage electronics. A lot of these don't have a lot of money. But over here, we got this old TV, garbage. Hot point, garbage. TV, garbage. Turntable, garbage. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a lot of garbage. But like I said, there's other vintage electronics in here. I haven't looked this thing up. Oh, what's that? I didn't see this earlier, Chuck. Oh man, there goes all the silver stuff. Oh no. I got excited. Oh, I got excited over nothing. What the heck is this? What is this, Chuck? High temperature insulation for effective demagnetizing of color television, Chachi. What? Craziness. I got all excited for that. Oh, that's what I saw. There it is. Right there. The old Las Vegas dice clock. It's missing one, a couple dice. My uncle had one of those when I was a kid. This says it's some kind of magma box. Some of these old stereos can be worth a lot of money. There's definitely a lot of garbage in here. Chachi, I'm gonna have to get him home, so I'll be back here later. Probably with Silent Shane. Our goal is to load up a little bit of this garbage, get it out of our way before we come back, see what other treasures we can find in the back, keep watching. Who knows what we're gonna find in a unit like this. Most people say, Rob, you're crazy. Why you buy something like that? I don't know. Sometimes you gotta take a chance. And I found money already, so keep watching. <laughs> the dust on this. <laughs> Box of bottles falling out, Chachi. So we got clothes, some books, but let's see what we got on this side. Sheets. Vintage sheets. Oh, Chachi, your favorite. National Geographic, 1993, 89. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice. That little ship belt right there, Chachi. Solid pewter, BHS. And sometimes these belts can go for good money, these belt buckles. It's all newspaper. There's a lot of garbage in this one, Chachi. The whole bottom's falling out. It's oh, look right here, Chachi. You know what that is? It's a cat. Coleman little grills right there. So those are all we sell. A little campfire grill. How about this, Josh? In this dirty, filthy unit. Brand new fashion blanket. Very fashionable. What the heck? Josh, look at this. It's got to be worth some money. Right here. Right here. What does this say? Harmonic. Something, oh man, this box is real heavy right there. Box is real heavy. All the stuff's in front of it. Oh. Oh. That old printer, Chachi. Remember your printer used to have like that? <laughs> no. No. You gotta look these up though. Some of these printers can be worth big money, these antique vintage printers like that. I'm trying to get to this box right here, Chachi. What's oh, what the? What is this? It's so heavy. Oh, nice. Oh. Technique stereo amplifier, pre amplifier. Oh, look, it keeps going, Chad. Man, a tuner. You gotta look this up. Set like this could be worth big money. There's three pieces right now, there might be more in the box. So hard to get to all this jump. Oh yeah. Whoa. Look at that. This vintage JVC. So not worth a lot of money, but once again, vintage electronics. There's gonna be some surprises in here. I can't wait to see what else we're gonna find. I gotta look up that health key thing. We got this technique stuff. I'm telling you, vintage electronics, money. I saw some train stuff, like I'm hoping I find the trains in here. Who knows? Just keep watching. 
Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh my gosh, this $220 unit I bought, it looked kind of horrible to be it honest with you. It still Jackie, does. <laughs> it still does. I got my brother here with me today. He's an electronics expert, so I brought him in today. We got all kind of vintage electronics in here. See what else we can find. But this is the locker. I found an Apple 2E, you know, easily $300. Could be worth even more. Could be up to a thousand dollars. I've seen them sell for. So, one if it works, we haven't tested it. We'll see what happens. And once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. You never know what you're gonna see. Crazy units like this, Rob will buy. But Rob saw a few things in there. I saw a little pieces, a couple things for trains, all kind of vintage electronics. This piece here had me interested, but then after I unwrapped it, it part. Then I saw, you know. But at first, I could only okay. see this part and this old stereo. I'm like, man. It's got to be worth some money. So we got old monitors. I had, There's so much to go through. It's packed, it's stacked, and it's filthy. So let's go through some stuff over here. You know, I brought my brother in. He knows mm. about stuff like right here. This is probably garbage. That, yeah, that's just a beat so, scanner, it looks a like. A scanner. <laughs> it looks like a scrap scanner. Scrap scanner. Yeah. Yep. That's a gasoline can, though. <laughs> Thank you. So we got a gas can. Oh, look at this thing. No. I mean, it's just, a little just how nice oh, it sander. A little sander. That's cool. And the old black and Dacker sanders like that are worth money just for a simple fact. Hey, you got the box, and that's really shiny. Yeah, it's shiny. <laughs> that's like the most. That's the thing. The unit's not looks tarnished. Filthy. The unit's filthy, but it's just been here so long. I, everything I keep finding is in nice shape, nice condition. So. Uh, I'll see. Oh, yeah, we saw this the other day. I was wanting to see. This thing's working. Okay, let's see. What is it, like a tester? Yeah. Some kind of tester. Harmonic distortion meter. i never seen one like that. I mean, we sold yeah, we sold a lot of them. Testers, so. I don't know. Something different one. Looks like it's for testing like speakers or stereos or something. And you never know about these testers. They could be worth big, big money. Ho ho! Tim. Oh. You're not going to believe what I just seen. I'm so excited right now. And it's one of the reasons I bought the unit. Look, look, look. For some gold crest. No. Gold crest pairs. Look at this thing on. Oh. oh, now I see what you're saying. What is this, a cooler? That's a cool little cooler. It's kind of like that one Corona one we just sold. It looks like it's... It looks like this one's pretty garbage. Yeah. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm so excited. But I see those boxes. I don't oh. know those are. This is what I was hoping to find, something like this in here. And this is pack stack. Oh, look at this right here. Ooh. That's a Lionel 252. And I could just tell by looking at this, this is pre-war. I'm telling you right now, this is pre-war. Before, Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a good sign. Pre-war stuff is worth money. All Lionel's worth money. Let's not be fooling ourselves here. That's nice. Another pre-war. 248. Oh. Then we got all these boxes, Tim. Look at oh. That's a nice little sun case. <laughs> the caboose. Caboose. And I hate, I mean, the boxes are so old. Those are pretty nice. But look at that. Oh my gosh, Tim. I mean, <laughs> oh, look at it. Nice. Great condition, ladies and gentlemen. You know, these people might never even took them out of the box. It's just, this whole thing's just loaded. Loaded, but the ones that are worth the money. See, this is kind of weird. What is this? Man, I'm just so afraid. What is this? Is this going to be the engine? Feels like it. So look at this. Might be one of those weird specialty cars. Yeah, there's a lot in here. Nope, it's a specialty car, Tim. Oh, is it? Oh, a crane. That's cool. Lionel Crane. Awesome. Looks like it's in good shape, Man. too. Just a little dust on the box. Remember, I paid $220 for this unit. The Apple paid for the unit. This box pays for the unit. So, I'm up. Oh! Oh, man. I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. To look. Twin diesel locomotives Ooh, Lionel 2023 cool. I don't know what they're worth but look them. I wonder if they're both real locomotives or one's a dummy they both this one feels maybe heavier I don't know. 
But look at that, they got the cardboard on. That's cool. I mean, they're, I think it's just from sitting there, it's like this. This is like from sitting, the plastic. Oh, Union Pacific? That's cool. I mean, this thing's so like heavy. So heavy, dude. So, I mean, right there. This that line be all like, standard, dude. Yeah. Let's, let's feel the other one. See. Yeah, this one's not, it's heavy, though. It's definitely motorized, too. That's cool. So, the one must be the front train. This is cool. I like those. So, I'm so excited right now. I mean, yeah. I'm still trying to get this to back up. Gotta take out the big boy. Oh. The cattle car. Oh. That's... This must be the whole little set there. There's the thing that loads the cattle onto the car. Yeah. There's the car. <laughs> yeah, it goes in like a little zigzag. I've never what... seen them with the box. Man, it's crazy. I just, it's unbelievable. And this is why we do it. You find things like this. Saving history. Making money. Is it like figures for the cattle car? Oh yeah, I was gonna say it's gotta be the figures. It's empty though. Oh, but Look, they're probably the they might be just in they're that box there. around the car or in the loading so station. Got the wood barrel. Ooh, barrels are in there. That's always the hard part. And that looks like probably a post. Oh, a like now. a turn post or whatever it's yeah. called. A semaphore. Yeah, it's for semaphore. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? Sorry. You don't know what a semaphore is? I mean, come on. But th I mean, this is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. And who knows what else we're going to find in this unit? Vintage trains. We found vintage electronics. I can't wait to keep digging. Keep watching. Let's get some of this stuff out of our way. Who knows what we're going to find next? Yeah, it's got to be worth money. Oh, the lino tape. It's got to be worth money. i got to put that aside. Oh, my Maybe God. I'll watch it later since I. Still American watching. Online. All right, that's like platinum premium. Two of them brand new. Hey, the floppies go for money. Look at this blue light special <laughs> internet service. That is just memories, though. It's got to be worth something, right? I think at one point in time, AOL it was like a third or a quarter of all CD production was AOL discs. I can see that. <laughs> or something like that. It was some crazy statistic like that. Oh, oh a portable watchman. TV oh, it's not. It's a. No, it's a oh. I saw that like Trinitron color in the corner. Oh, look! Ooh, new, new tools. Who knows what else is new? When you see that right on top, you get excited. You're like, hey, maybe there's some other good stuff in here. And I always like when there's stuff box. that's good in garbage bags. Yeah. <laughs> some kind of weird water tubing. Some more new tools, but I mean, That's two of those them. will sell. Her. Brand new Backstreet Boys. Oh, one, dude. two, and three, Tim. Woo! Wow, these are for the fans, man. Oh, Tim, we, we're getting. Oh, we're and lot. tapes. Yeah, we're getting. Oh. Hey, they were still touring. Money, Tim. Old stamps. Right there, thirty-four cents times what? Two, yeah. four, Heck six, yeah. seven. What stamps at forty-nine cents right now? Uh, more fifty-five, I think. Oh. Yeah, they keep going up. You want some lemon pepper? Some uh, diet pills? You just never know what you're going to find in storage lockers, ladies and gentlemen. Another new tape. When was the last time you took a good look? Today. <laughs> today. To be honest with you, today. I'm looking really good. Really hard to find some treasure in all this trash. I mean, this thing's just filled with all kind of weird random, like this is like just... Oh! Like, See? Okay. As usual. Look at this. It's like sticking. There's money sticking. Look at that. Honey. Change? Look at this. Oh, man. It might be silver. 80. I can't. 95. Nothing looks like it. Yeah. Oh, look God. ahead. Bag full of money and a bouncy ball. Can't beat that. There's money back. Got money back. And there's a coin shortage we can help out. Sure, how about the coin short thing? Hey, hey, hey. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look through this more later, but there's a bunch of pills down here. What a weird garbage bag. <laughs> hey, at least there's good stuff. At least there's money just in garbage bags. I got Look at this. It's seen on TV. The mega memory. No? Look how nice it is inside. It's like, yeah. It looks complete. 
Who doesn't want Mega Memory? And if you add hey. now, you also get the Memory Hockey Guys. For free! I don't like Like, what the heck is this? Hey, we got the tape players right there. We can start jamming. It's just like you just don't know what you're going to find. Any bag. Looks like yeah, old like paper. You know about <laughs> this one looks like garbage. Okay. Looks like garbage, but then, yeah, what's going to be in this? A Billy Blunt? Nope. Nothing. That's a pretty cool old box. Old school Billy Blunt? This one might just be garbage. Sometimes you're going to get just garbage. Oh it's in the name. It's like pieces and parts. Radio stuff. Electronics. Look at this. A track player Motorola motor transformers. Mm, I guess at least it's labeled. At least it's labeled, Tim. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's looking for that right now, but there's probably somebody out there. Look at this. What is this thing? Oh, uh, hand drill. <clears throat> Just randomness. There's tools in this unit for sure. Gauge. Pressure gauge. And uh, some more board. Gold and silver, Tim. <laughs> there, yeah, there is. Look at this RCA Select Division right there. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Old school. See a disc drive for an Apple II there. Oh, nice. What do you think that's worth? That's the one I used in school. Yeah, that just, that just reminds me. Those are the first computers I ever used. And look at this, Tim. We got a Packard Bell Legend. Yeah, it's like an old IBM compatible. The Macintosh Performa. And another IBM. Any value in there? Oh, yeah. What are you thinking? It's now Nowadays, all this stuff's been going up. So people are starting out there, ladies and gentlemen, to start collecting vintage electronics. Yeah. People used to think it was all garbage. Yeah. But just like anything, people got rid of it. Now it's collectible. People want the vintage electronics. Electronics are huge. Old cell phones even. There's people out there who collect them. There's people who collect everything. But computers, people actually play the games. You break programs yeah. still for them. So there's a whole cult following out there. So don't always dismiss stuff as garbage. Look it up first. So we got to definitely move some stuff out of here, guys. So keep watching. We'll see what else we can discover. I want to get to that case, see what's in there. I got the stuff on top, so let's get this box out of the way first. We're going to get a couple boxes out of the way first. Oh, watch my feet. So these old power cables, you know? Yeah. They're the same as new power cables. Yeah, they still work. Still work. Collapse, collapse, collapse. Look at this thing. What is that? Is this a fax machine? What is this thing? Looks like it's, it's like a computer. Yeah, it's a portable. A oh, fold it down. I think this front folds down. Yeah, I think it folds down somehow. I don't know how. That's cool. We're gonna have to break that open. Huh. That's gonna be the, that's gonna be the keyboard, and it's gonna have that probably a tiny little green screen in it. That's gotta be worth something. Right? Oh yeah, that's worth something. It's probably box. broke. It's probably around a hundred foot. VHS tapes. World Series number six game, Indians versus Atlanta, Tim. I might rip the commercials off those. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on YouTube. That's what I've been kind of starting to go through, old VHSs. Look at all this crap. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff, Tim. Look at these. Look at this phone. Ooh. Man. Orange. It might not Was it originally orange? I don't know if it was originally a color. Something on the bottom there, too. Oh, it's a phone with, like, it has, like, I think a radio and oh, clock radio built into phone. it on the side. Some cool old all electronics. Yeah, the power supply transformer. That's a transformer. Right. Case number one. Ooh. What do you think is in this thing? Is this possum? Vola. Vola. I don't know. Interesting. What the? Like, is it parts? Oh, there's Valveeta cheese. That's what I was Ooh. gonna guess. I love Malvina cheese, full of health and from milk. Lego. Lego building toy? Uh, I was hoping the Lego building toy was in there. But Just a bunch of, looks like uh, parts and stuff. And yeah, it looks like all parts. Definitely has a little bit of value. But look, we got more cases then. Probably parts I could use. <laughs> more cases. Oh. This case is interesting. Any more parts. Oh, oh. tubes. 
a tube case, and we love selling tubes. Hey, they always go. A case like this could be worth ten dollars. It could be worth, worth a, a couple hundred. <laughs> so who knows? It has the right tube. This one looks like a tape case, but who knows? Might just be Look how rusted these things are. Nope, it's a little briefcase. Papers, old clippings. Ooh, ninety-five cars. All right. So, oh my gosh. It's like a console radio, I think, Tim. Yep, for sure. So I'm coming back into this goodness here. Let's see what else you can find. I've got some books, encyclopedias, all these computers. I dig it. Another tester, signal yeah. tracer. So that's probably worth a few bucks. How about this bad boy? The cube clock radio. Probably not worth much. Cool little design though. It's just like this. This thing is just a dangerous. <laughs> it's a crazy Jenga pile. I think wants to collapse. I just want to see what's underneath this crate. It's papers. Papers. A hoarder locker with newspapers. Get out of here. I know. Oh, wood blocks or or no, there's stuff in there. Probably weird electronics. Probably something. This thing. What's this? It says something tools. A tape. The Donna Tools video catalog. The phone. No way. Is it in there? Nope. Nope. Just old film. film. So let's see. Uh, probably another thing of junk. What's in these little cases? It says one and a half inch. Thing. Maybe they're like bits or something. Oh, it looks like a what little is that, like pressure a... gauge or something. Oh yeah, Cleveland, Ohio. They were made in, ladies and gentlemen. That's interesting. Huh. Just because there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, a whole bunch. There's like fourteen or. So Once again, definitely has 10. some money value here, and so much Good stuff. Thing. Once again, we're gonna have to get more stuff out of the way here. Just keep making progress through this unit. It's packed, it's stacked. Who knows what else we're gonna find? It's been unbelievable so far. Vintage electronics, pre war Lionel trains, portable computer system. Who knows what else we're gonna find? Keep watching.